What's up, listening audience? I'm going to get right to the meat of my subject. There's two things that 80% of my brothers, all men in America and throughout the world, do not pay attention to, which is why they do not attract the woman that they desire. And I'm going to go into that in a second. But first, I'm going to read out of the Illuminating Gospel, the Macadim, from page 182, that states, Most men lack the inner ingredients and skills to attract, attain, and maintain the respect and devotion of most women. For example, in the 1950s, Playboy millionaire Howard Hughes offered actress Elizabeth Taylor $1 million to marry him. Taylor declined the proposal. Why? She said his hygiene was poor and he was a shabby dresser. Let's stop right there. Because those are the two things I want to get to. 80% of men, especially over 35, stop worrying about how they smell and how they are dressed and groomed. Most men don't wear cologne. Or if they do, they wear it sporadically, special occasions, things of that nature. Most men stop picking out their own clothes or stop color coordinating, stop ironing their own clothes. And so you have it. Like Howard Hughes, who offered Elizabeth Taylor $1 million to marry him. But because his hygiene was bad, and because he was a shabby dresser, she declined the offer. What chance do most men stand being those that are shabby dressers, smelling musky and dusty, but yet you're thirsty for a beautiful woman? Not knowing that women are more visual than you and women love smells. They love smells, which is one of the reasons why I sell body oils, which is another subject I'll get into later. But you got to get your hygiene up. You got to bathe at least once a day. And you want to smell good. Deal with your personal hygiene, your personal attire, your posture, your stature, the way you speak. All of these represent the ingredients, the ingredients for success, not just with women but in life. So do yourself a favor. Raise your hygiene level. And you will raise your level of genetic response from the opposite sex. More later in peace.